Artist Patty Grazzini makes intricate sculptures entirely out of paper. Her creations have included gorgeous shoes that look like something Marie Antoinette would have worn, and amazingly detailed figures that have a fairy tale quality about them. Now, Patty's current show at the Curtis Steiner Space in Ballard is a wonderful rogues gallery of New York criminals from 1885 to 1910. Take a look. This individual is probably the meanest of the group. He hung out uh, in the Lower East Side in New York, uh, down by the docks, and so I decided to make him a sewer rat. And what happened is, one day, he went into the Beehive Saloon with his girlfriend, and um, they had a, an argument. Everything escalated, and he ended up throwing a knife at her, and the knife hit her in the chest, and she died instantly. These are the girlfriend's gloves. At first, it sounded as though it was just a lucky shot. And it turned out that they had interviewed several people who were there when the accident occurred, and um, they all uh, said that he was an expert knife thrower. He totally knew what he was doing, and it was not an accident. I really like it when people look at my work and can't believe that it's made out of paper. I've thought about incorporating other materials like maybe fabric or leather, different things that I see sometimes that I think might work, but I've, I guess I've set the standard for myself and I really want to adhere to it. I love old paper. I love the idea of a piece of paper that's been in somebody else's hands. I have a group of letters that I just recently brought back from Paris and um, they're written the the last part of the 17, 1700s. Actually, her, her blouse is made out of one of those letters. She was, um, she's French, and so I wanted to use a piece of French paper, and I had just um, purchased the letters. I was really anxious to use them in something. I decided that I wanted to use animal heads for several reasons. Um, one reason is I don't want to be known as a doll maker. I don't want to just make a figure in a pretty dress. I want it to be a little bit more than that. Somehow I think that people kind of can relate to animals in a little bit different way. When people look at a face, I think that they look at a face as a reflection of themselves. But when they look at an animal, I think that it, it draws in the viewer and there's a little bit more curiosity. This is Mr. Goldhorn, and um, he embezzled quite a bit of money to go to South America to capture butterflies. He was caught. With this particular group, I researched uh, the New York Times for people who had committed crimes, and I concentrated on the time period between 1885 and 1910. What she did is she'd go into a town, and she'd marry, marry a man, and um, he'd give her money to go visit her mother who was supposedly sick in another town. She'd take off and she'd, she'd start all over again. I guess working tiny is, a, is, a, is challenging to me. When I get to a point where I feel like I am able to do something, I usually try to take it a little step farther and sometimes it means getting smaller. You know, sometimes people will go, oh, look at that, oh, you even did that. I mean, I like there to be little, little delights, you know, sort of for people. With this group, I don't want the pieces to be like a photograph where I read a story and I make a figure. I'd really like the piece to be able to draw on the viewer and allow the viewer to maybe kind of come up with their own interpretation. I'll have the article next to the piece so they can read it and they can see it. But we really don't know everything that went on and a lot of it is left to the imagination. I realize that they're real people and, and um, I, um, yeah, I feel kind of bonded with this group in a different way, definitely.